Thanks for joining us. I'm Beverly Thompson. Before the break, we were talking about breaking news out of Ottawa regarding the WE organization and some of the Prime Minister's family members. CTV's Annie Bergeron-Oliver joins us now from Ottawa to walk us through what we're learning. Annie, what can you tell us? So what I can tell you is that we're just learning now that Margaret Trudeau, of course, the Prime Minister's wife, earned about $250,000 directly in speaking fees, around $300,000 when you take into account money that was given to the Speaker's Bureau, which then takes a bit of a commission. So this was for 28 different speeches between 2016 to 2020. We've also learned that the Prime Minister's brother was also getting paid by we. So if you look at the statement, they say that he spoke at eight events during the 2016 17, 2018 academic year and received a total of about $32,000. So you might be asking, well, why is this important? Well, it's because there's now an ethics investigation into this due to the Prime Minister's close ties with we. You have to remember as well that his wife is also involved in this organization. She's an ambassador. And this was an organization that was paid millions of dollars to execute the Canada Student Grant Program which was apparently sole contract, sole sourced by the government to run a student volunteer program where students instead of, uh, who couldn't find a job perhaps this summer could go and get paid, um, you know, a hundred hours of work would give them a thousand dollars and we was going to provide these volunteer opportunities and help other organizations um, enable students to get volunteer placement. So, you know, the prime minister has come under a lot of fire lately about his close ties to we and why this organization was chosen. And and so that's why this information today is uh, of note. Yeah, and, and also an ethics commission active. Exactly, yes. The, the ethics commissioner is going to be looking into this, said that she's um, opened an investigation because of the prime minister's close ties. And in fact, yesterday, a reporter asked the prime minister whether he recused himself from the decision about whether we should be the one that was allowed to run this Canada student grant program. And he said no, because he's always been involved in youth issues. The prime minister yesterday also said that the contract and the decision was something that the public service came up with and that cabinet that did a Prove the decision. But yes, the Prime Minister said he did not recuse himself from this process. And now there is an investigation going in to see, you know, what happened, how this decision was made, and if it was right or if it was wrong. Yes, yeah, so the information that you have that you're giving, so it's Maggie Trudeau and, and the Prime Minister's brother, Alexandra. But we remember, of course, that Maggie Trudeau was at a WE event alongside Sophie Gregoire Trudeau earlier this year, and then she returned home with COVID. Exactly. And, you know, we know from different events, that one in specific, uh, that the prime minister's family has been heavily involved in this charity. You can tell from this, you know, dating back to 2016, Margaret Trudeau has been speaking at various events and getting paid for them as well through the Speakers Bureau through WE. So clearly there is a, a long-term involvement between the Prime Minister and this organization. The question that the ethics investigator will look at is whether this relation was too close and whether things should have been done differently. Yeah, just to see about whether there was a conflict. Annie Bergeron-Oliver, thank you for that breaking news. Appreciate